Hello, Wes Lee with your weekly Mesonet weather report. Fall arrived on September 22nd and with it came the first strong cold front of the season. On Wednesday morning, temperatures dropped well below freezing in the higher elevations of the northwestern states. As the front moved across Oklahoma, temperatures dropped by as much as 17 degrees in places like Newkirk, Foraker, and Nowata from the previous day. Lows on September 26 reached into the 40s in the Oklahoma Panhandle at stations such as Kenton, Boise City, and Eva. Dramatic temperature changes like this can be tough on newly weaned calves or freshly delivered stalker cattle. This cold front brought more than chilly temperatures. With it came rain to one of the driest places left in Oklahoma, the far southwest. By noon on Wednesday, rainfall had delivered significant moisture to nearly all of the mesonet sites in the southwest quarter of the state. Places like Altus, Greenfield, Mangum, and Hobart all received well over an inch. The highest amount was recorded at Apache, which received almost two inches. This rain, along with the record amounts received last week in the southeast, East, have soil moisture levels looking pretty good. This soil moisture map shows our deepest sensors indicating that a majority of the state is at 50 to 100 percent of storage capacity, down to 32 inches. Next up is Gary with a summary of the September weather events. Thanks Wes and good morning everyone. Well we certainly had an eventful weekend last week with Fitztown receiving the second highest official rainfall total in Oklahoma history at over 14 inches, and everybody else got a pretty good dose too. But believe it or not, we do still have drought in Oklahoma. Let's get right to the drought monitor map and see what we have. Well, we still have those two core areas of drought uh, down in southwest Oklahoma. For northeastern Oklahoma, that area is solidly a severe drought centered on Osage and Washington counties. Uh, but we also have that moderate drought and abnormally dry conditions surrounding that area uh, and those are areas that are going into drought so we definitely need some rainfall in those areas and we'll take a look at the rainfall map from the Mesnet for September and I'll show you why we still have drought in those areas and also out in the far western panhandle. Well the rainfall map for September from the Mesnet for the 1st through the 25th does show a really large area of rain across the southern two-thirds of Oklahoma really from four to eight inches are widespread. And then the humongous total from Fitztown of 18.7 inches. Certainly one of the highest September rainfall totals in Oklahoma history. Let's go to the departure from normal rainfall map uh, for southwest Oklahoma, the western panhandle up into northeast Oklahoma. Those are areas that were below normal for the month, believe it or not. Now some were right on the borderline, uh, but you can see down in south central Oklahoma, those areas that were from five to more than 10 inches above normal. And there's Fitztown at 15.2 inches above normal, at least through the 25th. Now the good news for the drought is we did have some rains that fell after the Tuesday morning cutoff to be considered for the drought monitor. So look for more improvements in the next map uh, Thursday. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report. <laughs>